Hi, everyone. Um, today, our session is really about how authors lead readers to epiphanies. And an epiphany is really like an aha moment. Like I've just recognized something or I've just realized something. So I want you to think of a person who you used to see as being one way, who now seems completely different. <clears throat> For example, um, I have a friend and at first I thought um, she was kind of uptight, but she's actually a lot of fun to be around. So I think back to that person and I ask myself, did the person change or did my perspective, remember perspective is the way we see someone or see something, did my perspective on the person change? So today I wanna to teach you that often when you think a character or a person has changed, it's really your perception of that character that has changed. So we ask ourselves, what new information has led to my change of perspective of a character. So today we're going to do some investigating. We're going to watch a um, quick video. The video is called Be Brave. And I want us to treat it as if it is a text. And I'm going to tell you right away that the author of this text does a lot of work to lead readers to think that the main character is a bad kid, a troublemaker. So even if you're slightly sympathetic to the character, um, you want to ask yourself, why would most readers think this boy is bad? What details does the author give that shape people's perspective and that makes many people think of the character as trouble? So what we're going to do is we're going to watch this video in two sections. So um, we're going to do the first part and then I'm going to stop it. And then we're going to move on to the second part. So we're going to stop here for a moment. Um, what did you see? And I want you to, you know, talk to someone about this. What did you see that makes you believe, or what does the author do that makes you believe that this is a bad kid? So now that we've hit that part and We've looked at the details that show, hey, this kid is trouble. We're now going to continue to investigate. And I'm going to tell you right now that your thinking about this boy will change. I want you to be extra alert to the exact moment when your thinking, thinking changes. So now we realize 
that maybe this boy is not such a jerk after all. Maybe he's not such a bad kid. Initially, we saw him doing something that was illegal. You know, defacing a building, putting graffiti all over it. And when we get to the second half of the video, we see the true purpose of why he was graffitiing the side of the building. And for some of us, there may be different moments where we first realized that this kid wasn't so bad. Maybe it's when he grabbed the flowers. Maybe it was when his mom smiled. So the thing is that the way your perspective changes on a character when we do our own reading, it probably won't always be this in your face as you know this video was. It's going to be more subtle. For example, the way we're coming to know how in um, the story how to transform an everyday hoop court into a place of higher learning and you at the podium were um, coming to know our main character's dad a little bit better. 